We have all heard the story of the three wise men who brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh to the manger, but uh, just what is frankincense? Many of us don't know. Why was it so important? Well, Alex Martin tells us the story of frankincense and how a local company and a group of UVM students are working to save it. Frankincense is really nothing more than sap from a tree. But in ancient times, this resin was very valuable. The ancient world believed that the smoke of frankincense carried their prayers to heaven. No matter what religious observance was celebrated, incense had to be burned. It's the only thing all religions have in common, is they all burn frankincense, and it's to put you like in a meditative state or lower your anxiety. The frankincense trade peaked around 2,000 years ago, after which its religious use began to decline. Today, frankincense is still used for religious ceremonies, but its use has also evolved. Many people are starting to see the value of frankincense as a health and beauty aid. Most people think the reason the wise men brought frankincense for the baby Jesus was to show a token of wealth. But the real reason they did it probably had more to do with health. Just to help the baby to survive, to go through all the disease at that time. Grown primarily in Somaliland, the northern part of Somalia, frankincense trees are beginning to come under threat by both environmental and human factors. And because there's not an equitable trade in Somaliland and in Eastern Africa for this obviously highly prized raw material, people are harvesting at greater rates than they used to. Ishmael Imports of Burlington began importing and selling frankincense earlier this year. Concerned about the tree's future, they turned to a UVM botany professor and her students for some help. Ecology and economics is perfect for us because <laughs> you know, it's like, holy smokes, is that a fit or what? Ishmael Imports asked Associate Professor Marta Cerrone to help them work with the people of Somaliland. This gave me a great opportunity, and so we uh, explored uh, the frankincense through projects with the idea that we would help gather information on the ecology and the social uses of the plant um, to establish uh, criteria for sustainable harvest. And as the people of Somaliland learn the benefits of a sustainable frankincense trade, they can use that opportunity to create better lives for themselves. So there, there is a whole issue of how to translate potential uh, earnings from frankincense into a uh, better quality of life. Frankincense has had a long history. And as Christmas draws near, we see its importance not only when Christ was born, but also today. Alex Martin, Channel 3 News, Burlington. Interesting. That is interesting.